Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here and welcome to a new video. Today's video is another loungewear haul look. I'm not going to come on here and show us all some unreal bikinis, some nice going out dresses when all we're doing is isolating, sitting on the couch, eating, working out, eating, napping and eating again. All we're doing is spending time in the house so we need more loungewear I've stocked up on so much over the past week and to be honest I'm thankful that I did because I got rid of a lot of like older stuff because I wanted new fresh stuff knowing that I was going to be in the house I just wanted to feel nice and I was actually talking about this on my Instagram earlier today that even getting up and putting the littlest bit of makeup on like today I've only got on bronzer brows mascara and lips like so everything apart from foundation really but getting up putting that bit of makeup on my hair's so greasy but i threw it up in a bun curled the front bits and instantly you just feel a million times better and same applies for loungewear when you've got nice lounge outfits on that's still comfortable but they look a bit little bit more put together than your fluffy dressing gown or your old ripped joggers you just feel a little bit nicer a bit more awake and ready to smash the day so I've stocked up on quite a few bits. Um, have I even mentioned that this is a misguided haul or have I just been chatting absolute rubbish for about two minutes? If I haven't mentioned already, this is a misguided loungewear haul. I've got a couple of different outfits, stuff for when you want to be super, super comfy, stuff where you want to be a little bit more put together, stuff for cosy days, basically just a whole lot of loungewear. Um, I'm going to take you through, show you what I picked up and I'll do a little try on clip as well throughout. So. Let's get into the vid. Okay, so first item I want to show you is actually what I'm wearing now. I was going to take it off because I've been wearing it all day today and like to include it in the haul, but I was like, no, like I want to wear it for the vid. So let me show you. Basically, this top is like a little crop top. It's whole and neck, it's low back. And you might be thinking, Dion, that's not loungewear, but paired with some black joggers and an oversized cardigan, it's comfy, but you also feel like a little bit sexier. You're showing a bit of skin. You know, I, I feel nice in stuff like this. If I'm wearing an oversized baggy t-shirt, I don't feel my best, to be honest. Yes, I love an oversized hoodie and I love all that, but I also still want to feel nice and put together in this top. I absolutely love. I've actually got it in the grey, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but it's like a ribbed detail. I'll show you a close-up in the try-on clip. Um, but it's just really flattering. It's got a low back. Obviously, I wouldn't really wear this around the house with nothing else on because I'd be cold, but... Come summer, when we're out of this lockdown and we're all free to go out and sit in beer gardens and drink pints of really cold Copperberg and nice gin and tonics, I'll be wearing this with denim shorts, little skirts, even with mom jeans it would look really nice. But granted, like for now, chilling in the house, it's just a nice little top and it's just something a little bit different to your average vest top or like my Zara tops, which I wear constantly because I've actually put myself on a ban and I'm not allowed to wear them anymore because... I'm spicing up my life with new stuff. So that was my first item. Absolutely love it. Um, what size did I get in these? Let me check this one because I've took the tag off. I got a size 10 and yeah, fits really, really nice. Second item is the cardigan I'm wearing. We all know that I was absolutely ecstatic that cardigans came back into fashion because I love a cardigan. I love wrapping myself up in it. I literally walk around the house like this. Like I'm just cozy all the time um but this cardigan is unreal you'll see on the try on it's long it's oversized it's really just nice it's got long sleeves which is always so important to me to have a long sleeve it has a belt around the middle so again it's nice you can tie it round like i have today just to kind of like cinch it in it looks cute um and you don't look like you're drowning in it but yeah i absolutely love this even like draped off the shoulders looks really nice and it's just cozy and comfortable but again a little bit nicer and a little bit more put together than an oversized hoodie. I got a size small, I think it has like quite an oversized fit but also not too much and yeah I absolutely love this. I will leave all prices linked down below um, next to the link to the item just because I've ripped the majority of the tags off because I've already started wearing them so I don't know how much they were but I will leave the link to each item down below as always. I just think you can't go wrong with big oversized cardigans like it looks so nice with joggers and little crop tops and even with jeans and nice tops like it's such a versatile item that you'll be able to take with you through not even just as loungewear but to leave the house like today i went and did the food shop 
in this and then just put a trench over the top and it was nice like it's outfits that you can quickly pop out in but you're also going to be comfortable in the house like i'm not a psychopath who's going to wear jeans in the house i'm just never ever going to be that gal okay so next up since i've already basically showed you this top already this is the grey version of the top. You can see here that it's more of like a bralette. I wouldn't say it was a crop top. It's more like a, a bralette fit, which I like. I think it's such a cute look to wear a nice little dainty bralette, oversized joggers and a cardigan. I just think it looks really cute, but also very comfortable. It's a really nice ribbed detail, if you can see. And the waistband is really stretchy and elasticated, which is what you want. You don't want it digging in when we're trying to be comfort queens. Do you know what I mean? Not at all. And I think that the halter neck fit, not fit, the halter neck neckline is just a really flattering neckline. I've mentioned before that like, I, I have quite broad shoulders and my shoulders are something which I'm conscious of. Well, I wouldn't say I'm conscious of, but I do think I've got quite broad shoulders. But this neckline is so flattering. That's why I like the ones that come in. If it's something that's quite dainty on your neck, I do find like it's really flattering for your upper body. Um, But yeah, I absolutely love that. And I paired it with... I've kind of done it in outfits when I was shopping online I picked outfits because I think it's easier if you can just chuck things on together like yep that's an outfit go that's an outfit go we don't need to be using our brain at this point so joggers look at the color of them absolutely love if you've watched my pretty little thing haul you'll know that I'm actually just loving a bit of color recently like all these pastel tones are just nice and I love these so basically they are a cuffed jogger they've got a drawstring around the where is it a drawstring around the waist which is always flattering you know i like to cinch in your waist to have that really baggy oversized fit but more petite on the top they have misguided written here but it's really discreet which i like i don't like a lot of branding but that little bit of just right in there is just cute i got a size eight so these are actually called petite oversized 90s joggers now anything 90s joggers is a plus you've got that baggy leg fit but the ability to pull them in tight around your waist and the high waisted a low waisted jogger has never been a vibe sorry but unless you are a victoria's secret model and you have that unbelievable torn stomach you will never find me wearing anything low rise it's always going to be high waisted to pull in your waist always what i liked about these is that they're a really nice length so obviously around the house i've been living in my slippers all the time obviously and i don't like joggers which sit too low down on your leg and that's a really weird picky stupid thing to say but i don't i always fold up my joggers so that they're a little bit up my ankle and these look so nice with like some chunky socks rolled down i'll put my slippers on top socks and slippers don't at me but i'm doing it um and then just a nice gray bra i just think that's a really nice little palette to be honest Again, with the big oversized joggers and the dainty cute top, I just think it's a nice look to pair together. And I'm really impressed with the quality of these. They're actually really thick and very soft inside. But that material inside is really fluffy and soft, um, which I'm always here for because, of course, comfort is key throughout all aspects of life. Okay, next outfit, which I picked out. Let me just put these shorts the right way because I've already tried them on and the inside out. Love that Dion, good YouTube skills, darling girl. So, basically, when I seen this section of Misguided, I was like, wow, sorry Skims who? I feel like a lot of the companies are recreating Skims looks. If you don't know what Skims is, it is Kim Kardashian's underwear, loungewear, shapewear brand. She does basically everything now. Um, but these are some little cute i want to say cycling shorts but i think they're a little bit shorter than cycling shorts mm, are they i don't know you'll see on the try on clip um but basically it's very similar to skims with the branding at the front there i don't know if that's even focusing but you'll see on the try on clip big thick high-waisted band so that is so flattering on when i wore them i felt so like <sighs> And I was worried that this outfit, I would feel like, oh God, it's showing lumps and bumps. Sometimes the material, the colour, even just the fit could just not be cute to chill in. And the last thing you want when you're relaxing, make, working your way through Disney Plus, is thinking, oh God, there's like bits falling out everywhere. You know, you just want to be secure and comfortable and feeling cute. So these are honestly gorgeous. Such a nice fit. Such a gorgeous colour. Honestly, like I said, I'm loving the pastels. And I paired it with this top, 
which is also inside out i actually wore this the other night and i absolutely love it so it's like a racer a racer top love that back i love anything that style racer um, I think it's very vintagey looking and really flattering and cute. And again, it's a matching set with the branding on the front. I got a size 10 in the top and a size 10 in the bottoms as well. And together, it's just so cute. Again, with this cardigan would look really nice. Maybe like a white oversized fluffy cardigan, some chunky socks, your slippers gorge but also i was thinking this when we eventually are allowed out of the house again this with chunky trainers and a white long line oversized blazer oh yeah that is a bit of me this sagey minty greeny name every color under the rainbow color i absolutely love i think it's so nice i think it's just something different but still quite neutral and like basic but then it's just a nice little pop of little pop of colour but yeah I absolutely love that range and I've actually got something else from that range as well which I'll show you next um so this is the same top but in a nude colour it's like a it's like a creamy off-white nude I've noticed whenever I'm describing a colour I tend to use about 50 different names for it it, it can't just be nude it's a creamy off-white nudey shade of nude um again i got a size 10 and i just thought that was a really really nice color and um, i thought it would go with a lot it would go with so many of my joggers that i've got my top shop ones which i live in i thought it's literally the same color as them even gray oversized joggers anything really just thought it was a nice basic to have that brandon's really nice and they've got these in so many colors they do a really nice like navy blue i think they did a gray i think they did a pink they did so many so definitely check them out and they do like it's all mix and match so they do this top in long sleeved this i think they do it in like a bandeau i think they do it in a bralette they do like so many different variations which i'm here for because i love a little bit of mix and matching so that was the top and then i got with it these like well basically they're just knickers to be honest they're like high-waisted vintage i mean they look like granny pants here however on they're like that vintagey I want to say Cameron Diaz and I don't know why I want to say her name at this point but I do but like I don't know like it's just a cute look like the little top is tight even tight in a little knot then these an oversized cardigan oh it's just a vibe isn't it I mean whether you'd lounge around the house like that I mean you do you if you want to lounge around like that go for it we live on a ground floor apartment and the neighbours wouldn't be impressed I don't think if they see me walking around like that but they're just cute and cosy so even these with some joggers but leaving the waistband to come out because the branding is actually on the waistband you could wear your joggers a little bit lower so that would match the top oh that just came to me there that was all just that's an amazing idea i'm gonna do that i'll do that in the try on clip and show you what that looks like but yeah just thought let's get a matching set it's cute and everyone needs some comfy knickers at this time girls if you're sitting there and you're in a tight thong get yourself some comfy knickers and feel free as a bird okay next up is a little nude set you can't go wrong with a nice nude stop saying nude Dion set so this is ribbed high neck racer back bodysuit in the shade sand and again a size 10 I got this because it looked like my Zara bodysuits which I've said I'm not allowed to wear anymore because I wear them all the time but they are the best things in the world and it's basically the same obviously this material is very different it's like a nice ribbed um thick material not see-through at all and again just a really flattering neckline it's just nicer than your basic um vest top really and that's what i like and i think they did this again in a few colors um and i paired it with these joggers which actually were a really nice match i was worried because it didn't come as a set that it was going to be like off colors but they're not I don't know if the camera is picking up oh it is these are like tie-dye i am loving the tie-dye loungewear sets out there at the minute i think it's such a vibe and these are like what color is it described as it's not oh stone yeah so it's like a pinky lilac-y dion stop describing things with 50 million colors basically they're like a stone oversized jogger 90s fit i got a size 10 again cuffed bottoms doesn't have a drawstring but it's got a tighter waist and the 
stretchy. There's room for 50 million digestives underneath there, okay? And yeah, I thought they would just be a really nice set together. This cardigan, I feel like this cardigan, I'm just gonna throw over everything now. Um, or even these joggers with the nude little skims vibe crop top would look really nice. And just these with anything really, and this with anything. This with mom jeans would be really, really nice. Obviously not to chill in the house in, but yeah, just a nice, simple, but easy to throw on go-to set. I think I've mentioned in previous videos that I find pairing things that are the same colour together makes you feel a lot more like you've got your shit together. Like if I wear a nice baby blue jogger with a baby blue top and it's coordinated and it looks like it's a cord, I feel it just looks nicer. I always buy a lot of cords, a lot of loungewear cords because one, what I've just said, it looks really nice together. I feel like it's more put together and just nice and second of all because you can mix and match the tops and bottoms you can wear the jumper with a pair of leggings you can wear the trousers with a vest top like you can mix and match so that's why I always go for things which match and the final item which I actually forgot about I actually forgot I'd ordered this completely but it's another one of the skims vibe range but this is some leggings so again it's got the um msgd misguided logo on the front um black jersey leggings everyone needs some of these in their wardrobe i have so many pairs because you just need a black pair of leggings you know when you don't want to wear joggers but you also want to be comfortable and you just need to throw on a black cotton pair of leggings that aren't see-through these are them again the thick waistband is just flatter and high-waisted i don't know why i'm putting it there as if i'm gonna pull them that high but yeah these are actually called lifestyle legging i got a size 10 and i just know that these will be my go-to to throw on with cropped hoodies. I feel like these always look nice with a cropped hoodie when you want to show a little bit of midriff but you also want to be like more sculpted. If I'm wearing something baggy on the top I'll opt for something tight on the bottom the majority of the time. So like these which are high waisted shows off your figure a bit with a cropped oversized hoodie looks really nice. So yeah them and then the same top which apparently if Dion likes something in one colour she gets it in every single other colour is the black version with the nice cream logo on the front. I've already vouched that the fit of these is just really nice. You need staple vest tops that you can just throw on easily and these are just really cute. So that's everything from today's haul. I'm very happy with all of them items and if you want to see how I wear them or see any other loungewear pieces, head over to my Instagram and follow that because I'm posting still every single day shooting content in the house and just sharing like my everyday outfits really. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!